Welcome to the Country Place Greenhouse Show. Uh, today we're going to be talking about trimming baskets and preparing things so that you have plants that will last all summer. A lot of times when customers come out to Country Place, they buy a basket and then it gets looking a little shabby after a while or things happen to it. This is an impatient basket and these baskets tend to grow real vigorously and therefore they need to have a little trimming. Just like we have to get haircuts, so do some baskets need haircuts sometimes. So all you gotta do, you don't have to go ahead and be fancy. Anybody can do this. You just have to trim the basket around, just snip away, and you can buy, uh, get some good scissors, and you get it shaped up, and the plant will look a lot better overall Maybe not right away, but I'll show you exactly what it'll do within a couple weeks time. It'll start looking just about perfect and then it'll grow back out again. And then if it grows out again too, bit, too much, you can trim it again. Now sometimes you can trim these little stems here so they don't show as much if you want to. You don't really have to, but that would be something. Now, you can put some fertilizer on them and uh, I'll show you what happened here. The fertilizer will go ahead and keep them growing good. You can use Osmocote or whatever you can find in a store. This basket was trimmed about two weeks ago. It's got a, it's come back out. You can see we're starting to grow again. And that's what you can have the same thing, the same effect. So that's one thing that you can do on, uh, on uh, impatient, that's impatient baskets. You can do the same thing for other baskets too, such as this petunia basket. I have to hang this a little higher here. That's a big basket. Oh, if I can get this hanger to work right. There we go. Okay, now you can see where it's hanging down some. But you can just take scissors and just cut that off. Just cut it off. Don't worry about cutting off and taking too much. Because, like I said, uh, within two weeks' time, you won't know that you even cut on it, really. You can just trim it up lightly all the way around and you can have that basket looking just a whole lot better uh, do this probably it really would hurt to trim just a little bit every week just to snip around on a on a few of the branches that look like they're getting out of hand and petunias love to be fed they like a lot of fertilizer so don't hesitate to fertilize them if you uh, do they'll go ahead and look uh, a little yellowish like they're starving for food and uh, you can go ahead and fertilize them and they can come back and look just fine now that's probably enough off of that basket that will get shape it up a little bit now some of these longer ones you can just take a few of them off like that and uh, it'll go from being a, a regular basket to a beautiful basket now, you don't have to go ahead. Some people think you got to deadhead them. You don't have to, on the petunias, on uh, most of the petunias that we grow, you do not have to deadhead. Now, there is one type. The white petunia does go ahead and require more deadheading in order to get the blooms off. Now, that particular variety just happens to be that way. Now, this is another type of basket that we have is a combination it has some biddens in it and biddens you can go ahead and cut just cut unmercifully on biddens you can cut some of it off and if it gets too long you see these uh right here this is a a flower that's been spent if you can get some of them off uh you you'll have a lot better effect down the road and that you'll get more blooms and it'll look a lot better now, one thing about this basket here, it also has verbena in it. Verbena is a beautiful plant. That's this purple one here. Now, when that head gets bad, now that one I broke, but you can see right here, okay, here's some, here's some blooms that are gone bad. If you can pick, you have to kind of take your time on these and go in there with scissors and just pinch them off a little bit, get them out of there, the plant will continue to bloom you'll have a lot better look at it and the basket will continue to look good and we do 
like the verbena because it has a lot of, it's very, very colorful. And uh, so is the biddens. The biddens can really add a lot of color to it. So if you got one of these baskets, keep that in mind. Now here's, here's what the head, that dead head needs to be. When they get looking like that, you need to go ahead and get them out of there. And again, don't hesitate to fertilize them. Now that's basket, I'm gonna trim a few of these, even they, they're blooming, I'm gonna trim a few of them off, just to promote more growth and, uh, and have the plant look better in the long run. Okay, that's just a quick lesson on, on baskets. Now, the other thing, some of you go ahead and buy geraniums. Now geraniums, you go ahead and they gotta be deadheaded. Now this one isn't too bad, it's still got some more bloom to it, but I'm gonna take it off anyways. But slide your finger all the way down and then break it off at the bottom. Don't leave a little stob sticking up. Don't cut, take scissors and cut, cut them off up here. Uh, go ahead and take it all the way off. And again, geraniums need to be fertilized and they also need a, if you get some calcium based fertilizer, that would help out because geraniums tend to acidify the soil a little bit as they grow. And a lot of times the leaf will turn sort of a finky looking color and uh, get spots on it. And that's because it's, it's acidified the soil too much where it can't get absorbed the nutrients properly. So you have to put a little calcium based fertilizer on it. Now, another f plant that we have, and we have a lot of these right now, is these Gerber daisies. They look really good. Now the Gerber daisies, again, you have to go all the way down in to get the bloom out. You go all the way down and you cut it when the bloom is spent. Now this bloom is not spent, this bloom is okay. Now another good thing about Gerber daisies is they make a beautiful bouquet or you can use them as cut flowers and they'll last a long time. So that'd be one thing uh, you can go ahead and uh, work on. So that would be the Gerber daisies are, are a good plant. And we have several different colors, the reds, oranges, yellows, the whites, and I think that you'd enjoy them. They make a good plant. Now, sometimes in the middle of summer, they might go out of bloom a little bit. They like a little bit of cooler weather, but then they'll come back and they'll be just fine. Now, one, one plant we do have, I'll bring this over here, is the vinca. The vinca is a type of plant, we do not recommend planting this until after about May the 5th, May the 15th, somewhere in that neighborhood. Because it strictly likes hot weather, it does not like the cold weather. Anything below 50 degrees, it just kind of shudders a little bit and doesn't do very well, it stalls out. But for a plant that does well in the hot summer conditions, this is a plant to have. And we got a good selection of them now. They're ready to go. Uh, we got them also in hanging baskets, but you can go ahead and use that as well. A hanging basket, this is a hanging basket that we have. You can see it's just starting to grow real good. We try never to sell them until later after it get warm. Uh, even the baskets we don't have until right now because of the fact that if you plant or you have the basket hanging outside and it gets cool on it, it's just not gonna do as well. And it takes it a long time to come back out of that shock that it has when the weather gets a little cool at the end of April, beginning of May. So always wait, don't buy your Vinca baskets till right now or even a little later. They're a good summer basket and they don't take any trimming. They self clean, they'll take a lot of sunshine they're not for shade, they're, they're, they are for a sunshiny location. So this is a Vinca basket. That's what you need to do, look at. Now, we have some other baskets that are coming along. Now, we sold a lot of these baskets. This is a combination. It's uh, got different colors in it, and it's Calabacoa. And that basket, again, will take fertilizer real good. It needs to have fertilizer, and uh, this is a solid color, Calabacoa, but you can see it does really, really well. Now this one's not big, this is just relatively a, a young plant, but this one's more mature, but of course that's one solid color. 
but we have done uh, very well with selling the multiple color. They're really pretty, and uh, they'll do very well for you as a, as a consumer. Just changing around, we're not talking about flowers anymore. We're talking about something to eat. And uh, the Better Boy tomato, we have some real nice tomatoes. We try to keep a good selection of tomatoes coming along uh, for the gardener. Or if you want just a few tomatoes around the house, uh, maybe you got a patio that you can put them on, something to that effect. But tomatoes are a real good item. They're delicious. And we do have a wide selection of tomato plants and some real nice ones we're still planting. And we'll also have a seedless tomato. Uh, some people like that because of their conditions or whatever. And, and that we will have uh, ready probably uh, the end of this week. I would like to thank you for tuning in today and watching our show. I'm Bernie Borbo with Country Place Greenhouse, located directly across from the Lebanon Springfield Airport.